great <laughs> midweek uh, recipe for you guys, meatballs. But these are really, they've got a twist in these meatballs, are really hearty. We've got a rich chilli sauce with coffee in there and tomatoes. It's going to be great. But the, bit, the little sort of secret to these meatballs, we're going to stuff them with cheese. So the cheesy meatballs with chilli sauce is going to be great. Real hearty midweek uh, recipe. I'm going to show you how to do this a little bit later on this show. Really great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. And Mark, we've got meatballs to cook up this morning. I'm still reeling in the fact that Barb, uh, that uh, Robin rather, had 17 grandchildren. So we need to make a big meal. I know, yeah. We double the recipe. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> right. Now, I love meatballs. They can be quite, they can be quite boring, but you're going to jazz them up for us. Yeah, that's it. I mean, you know, you can make it as primitive as just get some beef mince, a bit of salt and pepper, do them into balls and cook them. You know, that's, um, you know, it's very simple, very fast, but quite boring, like you said. Yeah. So these are a little bit different. So we're using beef and pork mince. Yum. Uh, so two different flavours. You've got high fat content in the pork, so yes. that's going to keep it nice and moist, give it more, more flavour. Oh, a little bit of mustard in there, some herbs and spices. So oregano and oregano. <laughs> Talking like an American. Um, <laughs> Arrayan, and, uh, <laughs> and cumin as well, so wow. that works really well, just gives it a bit of an edge. And then we're going to just sweat some onions off now, and then that's going to be in, go, go into our mix as well. So okay, nice. a bit more flavour. So a lot of these people have in their pantry, sometimes just sitting there doing nothing. So get them out, start throwing them in your meatballs. Follow this recipe, by the way, and you'll get the most delicious flavours. Well, we'll be the judge of that a little later on, <laughs> won't we? <laughs> that's it. So just a little, little bit of olive oil. Don't yep. want too much... Um, extra fat in there because you don't want to make them too wet you know it's a it's a very fine balance of making it too wet you know with having that extra fat in there having the eggs in there to make it soft the meat soft but then if it's over wet it's just going to be really hard and really tricky to um to mold okay and then if it's too wet as well you're not going to get that texture of the meat through the meatballs well, well. that is a fine balancing act but you're the man <laughs> to take us through that mark right so we've got the beef mince and some pork mince as well yep so start giving that good mix together so it's all you know, just evenly mixed through, mm -hmm. and then uh, we're sweating our onions, onions here. So you don't need to cook them for ages, you know, we still want a little bit of texture, and the meatballs are going to be cooked as well, so, you know, it will get a double cook. You're just starting to release the flavours in there. And then this is a good time to start putting some salt and pepper in. Okay, it's so always season. Yeah, always season, and the, the salt as well is going to help bind it. Um, you know, it'll help bind the protein. Okay, okay, well. I didn't so know that. A little tip for you. Um, and then it's just plain meat, so it's just hunks of meat, so you need quite a lot of seasoning in there. Okay, we're getting that in there. And a little bit of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Yeah, so that just gives it a nice bit of sharpness there. Yeah, that's always a good tip. Um, the oregano and the herbs and spices. And then you probably can put the onions in now. Okay. Now, yep. Aren't the Pardon hot me. onions going to cook some of this while you're there? Or is it uh, no, it's, nah, not, okay, it's not that hot. Okay, sweet. And it's all going to get cooked at the end of the day anyway, so it's fine. You know, people really love making your recipes, Mark. And uh, good, yeah. just recently, Barb made your chicken, which was awesome. Uh, now, look at this. She even posted about it. It's called Make Mark's Meal. And there is her Kung Po chicken. Oh, I know. Made. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Al almost looks better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't want to say, I don't want to yeah. say, Mark, but good on you, thank you, and if you do that, make sure you do post to us and let us know. Uh, that is fantastic, and that's the thing, all the recipes at thecafe.co.nz, if you can't follow it now, just print it out online or get it on your tablet, sit it near the kitchen, and play the video, and we'll talk you through it. Right, so we've got our mix here, so get a nice ball yep. shape, give it a little sort of squash as well, so you get, get it nice and compact, mm -hmm. and then you just want to squash the meatball, a little bit of the cheese, Scrunch that up, pop it into the centre, yep. and then just mould it back around, just carefully, sort of squashing it around. Get it back into a ball shape, give it a little roll, and there you go. You've got the cheese in the centre, got all that beautiful flavoured mint on the outside. OK, I can see now why you've got to get the moisture balance perfect, because yeah, that'll be hard to it, do if you don't get it right. Exactly, and then if it's too wet, you know, you're going to cook it and then the cheese is just going to ooze out. You nice want that way. cheese to be a nice little surprise in the centre. Oh, nice work. Well, there you go. We're halfway through. We'll keep stuffing the meatballs with cheese. But first, we need to finish up this chilli sauce, Mark, because uh, our meatballs are done. Sauce is important. Uh, what do we do with these, by the way? We're going to sear them off? Yeah, so we're just going to sort of a medium heat pan, a little bit of oil, and we're just going to start getting a little bit of colour on there. OK, so we're not cooking them, we're just giving them some colour. No, no, we're going to bake these in the oven. So nice. hot oven about 180 degrees, a little bit of colour, and then the whole pan can go in the oven. Nice. And then cook them for about 25, 30 minutes until they're cooked. You want that minced 
cheese to be cooked all the way through and the heat to get into the center and then that cheese is going to mm. ooze out. Mm. Awesome. Beautiful. All right, so we just control the heat on that. We've got yep. another pan now, so as these are cooking, time to make the sauce. Okay, so this is the important one. The sauce can make all the difference, can't it? So yeah, and, then, and this is going to give you heaps of flavor as well, the sauce. I know your flavor. Okay. Okay. It's a chili. <laughs> okay, cool. So we're sweating off some it, onions. It is a chili sauce. <laughs> so onions and garlic go in. We're just going to sweat them off. Chilies, okay? So obviously it is a chili sauce, so you do want a, a nice bite to it as well. Yeah. You've got a big smile on your face there. It doesn't have to be really hot, you know. It gives it a nice bit of flavour, you know. If you like it hot, put extra chilies in. Well, no, but this is what I've worked out with your recipes, is that it, there's always something to counteract the chilli, which, you know, is nice. So it's a good way to actually get a little bit of chilli in there, see if you enjoy it, and you can just adjust the, the uh, ingredients to suit. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, it's, yeah, no, it's entirely up to you how much chilli you want to put in there. We've got tomatoes in there, we've got coffee in there, so that's all going to sort of counter counterbalance it and, and, um, and give you that nice rich um, deep flavor with a little bit of heat you know if you really like it spicy you know you can use different chilies these are just from the supermarket just sort of standard chilies you know sometimes of the year they're uh, really hot other times of the year it just tastes like capsicum so it's always a good idea just to try a little bit you want to try one see how hot they are <laughs> no thanks <laughs> <laughs> well wait till the sauce is done um, now I'm browning these up, is this about right, is that yeah, perfect? Yeah, yeah, that's it, so just a little bit of colour and then keep flipping them around, try and keep that sort of nice round shape. It is going to sort of distort as it cooks, you know, it'll sort of go a bit smaller and tighten up. Right, okay, I'll keep an eye on these. Okay. The ingredients is going in here. A little bit of salt in now, as you sweat, that's going to start bringing all the flavours out. Okay. And I'm going to put some smoked paprika in there as well, so that gives a nice smoky um, flavour through it. Nice. Got the garlic in there. And it's got some tomatoes, some fresh tomatoes as well, which I'm just going to cube up. And as it cooks, it's just going to give us a nice sort of fresh sweetness um, into the sauce. I've also got some tin tomatoes, which we're going to put in. And then the stock, what we're going to use to cook everything out and reduce down is coffee. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting that you're putting coffee into this. Why, why the need for coffee? Oh, it just gives you a deep, it doesn't, doesn't taste of coffee at the yeah. end of it. It just gives you that deep, rich flavour, which Ooh. is really, really nice, you know. Okay. They use a lot of uh, coffee in cooking, especially like briskets and stuff in the States. That's really good. Okay, that goes in there. And we've got some molasses as well. That's just going to go in. And that's really going to help thicken the sauce as well. Some more ingredients in there. And a little bit of ketchup for some sweetness. I pop them in, give that a good stir around. You're starting to soften those ingredients. This smells incredible. And tomato goes in. Good value, tin tomatoes. You can and get them organic for cheap. And now coffee. The coffee. Mm. <laughs> Have a wee sip. Beautiful. <laughs> Just like I do when I'm cooking with wine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Test it first, make sure it's okay. Cool, get everything in there, bring it to the boil, turn it down and simmer it. And then you probably want to cook it for about sort of 20 minutes or so or until it's nice, thick and rich. Don't take it too thick because once these meatballs are cooked, we're going to pop them back in the sauce and you want to give it about another five minutes and then that sauce will reduce around the meatballs and then that will be done. Incredible Fantastic. Incredible work. Thank you so much, Mark. Find the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. only just born in the 90s. Oh, I'll show off. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit before that. Anyway, the meatballs are ready. You can see that sauce. I put the meatballs back in. It's reduced around it. They're nice and shiny and... It is quite spicy, but it is a chilli sauce, so we can do that. I'm just going to finish it off with a little bit more sauce and then a little bit of parsley as well just to finish, and that will counterbalance a small fraction of the heat. <laughs>